On behalf of the Cuyahoga Community College Board of Trustees, the administration, and the faculty and staff of the college, I am honored to welcome our graduates and their families and friends to this virtual commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. Today, we recognize graduates who completed their degrees in January and May, as well as students who will complete their degrees in August. You are a diverse crowd of hundreds with stories as unique as your career and life goals. The diversity in your histories and plans, both current and future, are part of what makes a community college education so rewarding. It is a rich experience offering diverging avenues to expand your knowledge, interests, and expectations. It has set you on a path to continue your education or to start your career. It has challenged you to adapt, to learn new methods, and to try new ways of thinking. Your Cuyuga education has provided you with the foundational skills needed for future success. It has helped you grow. All that you achieved at Cuyuga, though, is because of you. We have been and always will be here to support you, but you are the force behind your educational stride. Your hard work that brought you to this point, your determination that drove you to succeed, do not lose the spirit of that resilience. In the years ahead, you will face difficult days and challenges that seem insurmountable. They are not. There will be times when the way forward is difficult to see. I promise you that the way forward is there, and I'm confident that you will find it. You have shown us that the depth of your determination is boundless. Faced with not just the rigors of a college education, but also a worldwide pandemic that no one could predict. You had every chance to quit. Instead, you overcame. These challenges affected not only your education, but more importantly, your life and the lives of your family and friends. It is a unique situation fraught with difficulties, but a situation you conquered with commitment, patience, compassion, and limitless work ethic. Graduates, you are one of the most resilient classes to earn your degrees at Cayuga. Seeing you triumph over so many obstacles is one of the proudest moments in Cayuga's history, and one that will not quickly be forgotten. Perhaps more so than any past Cayuga class, you are graduating in a rapidly changing world. Our communities continue responding to the pandemic that upended life earlier this year. And you are earning your degree amid invigorating calls around this country for renewed commitment to equality and justice. Our college understands we are an essential force to combating intolerance and inequality, and that we have an equally important role in stressing the values of compassion, fairness, and justice to our students. I urge each of you in the days and years ahead to remain dedicated to these core values and to promote equality wherever your life takes you. Looking ahead, I see for each of you a bright future with promise, purpose, and passion. I urge you to continue working hard and to remain dedicated to the principles that led you to success here at Cayuga. We will always be here, a vocal cheering section as we see you succeed time and again. We know that as alumni of Cuga Community College, you will make us proud in whatever you choose to do next. Congratulations, Cuga Community College's class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates. You made it. You may have already heard or probably will hear that celebratory phrase from friends and family Three simple words that recognize the very real accomplishment of earning your degree from Cayuga Community College. As the parent of two Cayuga graduates, I know full well that that statement, you made it, is mixed with a whole lot of pride, but also more than a little relief for you and your family. And we acknowledge that you making it here today is even more significant because you successfully completed your studies during these exceedingly challenging times. You made it. Again, three simple words, but ones that embody the sacrifices some of you made. 
Financially, perhaps balancing the necessity to work full or part-time while carving out all the necessary hours to meet the rigors of college study, and all too often socially, as you prioritize schoolwork over fun times with friends and family. Today is a celebration of you. You made it. You followed your dream to achieve this milestone. While you were no doubt supported by family and friends to get to where you are today, and we in the Cayuga academic community would like to think we had no small hand in helping you to get here. You, at this point in your adult life, savoring the satisfaction of this real achievement was almost entirely due to your own efforts. You made it. An educational institution can only offer to its students a wide array of quality educational offerings, knowledgeable and skilled experts in their particular field, ready to impart their wisdom to you, and support systems to help you succeed. Each of you had to step up and make the choice to extract every bit of knowing from our expert faculty, to seek out mentors, to accept the guidance and assistance from caring staff in order to successfully move from the wide-eyed, naive, entering student all the way to become the skilled and knowledgeable graduate you are today. In whatever field of study you pursued here, you made those choices, you made those connections, you made the effort to prioritize your learning, your skill building, your self-improvement. You made the right decision to come to Cayuga. You made it. And just what was that it that you made in your time here? For some of you, it was the next logical step after high school to obtain new knowledge and specialized training to transition more confidently into the world of work. For some of you, it was the opportunity to explore a broader world of academic possibilities and learn what speaks to your soul as a pathway for further education. For others among you, it was part of a well thought out plan to cost effectively yet rigorously prepare yourself to transfer into advanced degree programs at other higher ed institutions. For a goodly number of you, it was the realization of educational dreams deferred while you spent the time necessary to serve our country or to raise your family or to focus on establishing yourself in your job. For some, it marked a return to the classroom to learn new skills and expand your toolkit to become a more effective employee or to step up another rung on your career ladder or to prepare to sail off into a whole new career direction. Whatever the it was that you made here, I implore you not to let this hard-earned graduation day be your last it. Hopefully your experience here has whetted your appetite to always learn more, to know more, to be able to do more. I hope we helped ignite the fire within you to be a lifelong learner, always seeking ways to improve and grow as thinkers and doers, as practitioners and leaders, and as contributing members to our community. When the time comes for you to make that next it in your life, consider returning to Cayuga. We'll be here waiting for you. On behalf of the entire Board of Trustees, our most heartfelt congratulations to you. Well done. Congratulations. During your time as a student at Cayuga and wherever you studied before, you've had many assignments. There have been term papers, projects, exams, and many other types of assignments. I too have had an assignment recently. My assignment was to prepare remarks for the 2020 commencement program. Well, like many of us do with assignments, I left it until the last minute. I was going to do it yesterday but time got away from me. So last night was definitely the time I was going to finish off my remarks to prepare for you. However, some unexpected things happening, so I had to set my alarm for early this morning, and I said I will get up and I will prepare some good remarks. Just as I had, was starting to do that, I got an email. Actually, it came at 6, 10 a.m., 
and the subject line of the email was, quote, a graduation gift for these unique times. Hmm, could this be a message from on high? It certainly was the right moment, so I opened the email, and I saw in great big letters, quote, acknowledge their accomplishment. I didn't know who was sending me this guidance, but I liked it. So I went with it. Let me follow it. I want to acknowledge your accomplishments. You have done so much on all those assignments. You've done so much as a student. You've learned so well. And you've certainly overcome unprecedented hurdles this semester as the pandemic forced us all off campus. But still, you persevered. You innovated, you juggled your personal life, your family life, perhaps your work life, and your student life, and you've succeeded. You're ready to graduate, and for that, we acknowledge and applaud your accomplishment. Back to my email. Still didn't know where it was from, but I read on in the email, and it said, the class of 2020 finds itself in a unique moment. And a gift of the times, aha, now I knew who the email was from. In fact, it was an advertisement for the New York Times. But the message seemed to be very appropriate and useful, so I continued. The class of 2020 finds itself in a unique moment, and a gift of the Times can help them understand it. Now, more than ever, facts are indispensable, and the Times delivers essential information, expert analysis, and practical guidance on a daily basis. Hmm. Hopefully, that's precisely what Cayuga has done for you. Deliver essential information, expert analysis, and practical guidance on a daily basis. How timely and how fitting. But Cayuga is not just a newspaper providing a service. We've taken care to do all of these things in ways that prepare you in your own ways to always be informed, to analyze the changing world, and to make the most of your evolving role while practically guiding yourself and others to success. On behalf of the faculty and the entire college community, it is my high honor and distinct privilege to congratulate you, to thank you for all that you have done for the college and for each of us as we launch you on your individual paths to success. At this moment of tremendous change and uncertainty, it's too easy to overlook the fact that change brings many new opportunities. All of us at Cayuga are proud of you and proud to have prepared you to find and create new opportunities for yourself and for others. The world really, really needs you because in 2020, we all need to make some changes, get out of some ruts, blow through some barriers, and move forward peacefully, equitably, and sustainably. You are ready to play a very important role. Congratulations. During these unprecedented times, it is so important to not only care for others, but to practice self-care and acknowledge what you have worked so hard to achieve. Years of long days and nights filled with countless hours of studying and outstanding bursts of effort have brought us to where we are today, Cayuga Community College's graduating class of 2020. Instead of reflecting on our time and academics at Cayuga, it would be better to reflect on the people we encountered the great minds that challenged and pushed us to our limits, the friendships and bonds we developed, and the mentoring and advisement that we received. These encounters shaped and educated us to be completely different people from when we first started our degrees. When I began my journey at Cayuga, I was alone. I had been out of high school and working for a year, my plans for the future had recently fallen through, and I was lost. After applying on a whim and being accepted, I was nervous to begin this journey. Nervous for the unknown and what instability that might lead to, um, how well I would adapt and fit in, and what opportunities the future might hold. Because of these worries, it was my intention to go to classes and then leave campus with minimal involvement outside of my major. I quickly noticed I wasn't alone in this mindset. 
As it is with the beginning of many new projects, most people were optimistic yet unsure of what to make of the new environment and challenges they faced. This is where bonds were created. This was the time when we found support and encouragement from each other, and friendships were formed through mutual understanding of the rigors of coursework and scheduling. From there, we dove deeper into our degree programs and began exploring what Cayuga truly has to offer, an education delivered by individuals with the most experience in their fields. These researchers, developer, developers, and professionals taught us with an unmatched level of dedication and commitment that we could take advantage of and learn from. Education through expertise and real life application is the key to a student's success, and that is the opportunity we were given at Cayuga Community College. Above all, we were pushed beyond academics as faculty became our advisors and mentors. What we came here to study became an immersion, and as we began developing educational goals and career plans, we were faced with innovative support and opportunities for growth and greater knowledge. What Cayuga gave us more than anything through these encounters and experiences was a sense of community. In a time where most of us were unsure about what path to take or how to get on track for a successful future, we were met with support and encouragement from every angle. Faculty, staff, student leaders, and classmates gave us a unique, challenging, and engaging environment to enhance our education. As we gather virtually to celebrate our accomplishments and look to the future to dream of what comes next, I hope you never forget the people who helped pave that pathway and provided the tools necessary to make those dreams come true. Congratulations, class of 2020, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Graduates, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of New York, the Community College Board of Trustees, and the County of Cayuga, I confer upon these candidates, duly certified by the faculty of this college, their respective degrees of Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, and Associate in Applied Science, and certificates. And I further declare that they are entitled to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. We now our song of praise. Blessed, fruitful be thy days. Sing we now our loyalty. <laughs> 